Welcome back to the new cooking video. I'm Chef DeVille and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make salmon crisps out of salmon skin. Now, if you're familiar with my YouTube channel, a few years back I showed how to make salmon crisps out of the flesh of salmon. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make salmon chips out of the skin of the salmon. So if you ever have any leftover pieces of skin that you don't know what to do with, you can turn them into crisps and turn them into an appetizer that you can enjoy or your clients can enjoy or whoever. Anyway, let's get straight into this. Let's cook this. All right, let's make some salmon skin chips. The first thing you need is some salmon skin. So here I'm gonna remove some of the skin from this chunk of salmon, and you wanna keep your knife tightly against that skin to get a very thin sheet. Now, this is your salmon skin. And salmon skin has two sides, one with uh, scales, and the other side is the side that we're gonna clean. So we're gonna remove some of this flesh and extra fat. Now you really wanna remove this because it hinders the ability to it to puff up. So if you leave this on, it will, it will not really work very well. Okay, so once you've cleaned it off, you're gonna take an oven tray and place some baking paper onto it. And then we're going to place our salmon skins, scale side down. And we're gonna place it into the oven at 50 degrees Celsius for about four hours or until it dries out. Now don't forget to put your fan of your oven on. And if you want, you can also leave the door slightly open so it dehydrates faster. And another thing you can do is take a piece of tissue paper and as you go drying it, you can take your tissue paper and remove some of the oils manually like this. Now, once it's fully done, it should be super crispy and super wafer thin and it should break apart like this. If it doesn't, put it back in the oven and keep drying it out. Now, to fry it, you take your little piece and you place it into a deep fryer at about 170 degrees Celsius or 180 also works, but nothing lower than 170. And it should puff up to about 10 times its size. It becomes much thicker and much bigger. And make sure to submerge it to fully cook it through. And if you want, while it's hot, it's still flexible and you can mold it into a different shape if it curls up. But once it cools down, it becomes very crispy and hard and you can't remold it. So this is how crispy those salmon skin chips are. They're super crunchy crispy, as you can tell. And it's just fascinating to me how you can take a thin wafer of salmon skin like this and it puffs up into a huge crisp like this. It's really great. Okay, so now you know how to make delicious, crispy, fried, crunchy salmon skin crisps out of salmon skin. And you can pair this with any kind of dipping sauce. Just give it a try. Try any dipping sauce you enjoy. These will probably match with it. But here are a couple ideas of what you can do. You can add it with sweet chili sauce, spicy mayo. You can make a little bit of guacamole and dip it into that. Or you could make a thick teriyaki sauce and dip it into that. Uh, whatever you go with, it will most likely work very well as an appetizer. And the great thing about this is, is you're using something that you would throw away normally. Salmon skin, maybe you might be throwing it away, but this is a great way to use that to make something interesting and delicious. Okay, so lastly, before you go away, I wanted to just ask you all to subscribe to my email mailing list. It's in the description below, and you'll be emailed whenever I release a video. Actually two hours or something before I release to the public, you'll get an email about it and you'll be able to watch the video before anybody else on YouTube can watch it. Uh, be one of the first to watch my video, subscribe to the email mailing list. I'll only email you about new videos. That's my promise to you. Okay, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video, goodbye.